Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Simple Happy Life. I'm Sabrina and I'm just going to jump into this video. I am sitting here going through my homeschool planner where I not only write down what we actually do, but how it went, the good, the bad, the ugly, and how I need to reassess. So what I need to do now is set my youngest up to win who gets up super early and is ready to go. So I pulled back out our independent work trays, which we haven't used in a while. And then he has this independent work box. So I'm just going to show you what I put on the tray. This will be on this tray for the next three weeks because that's our cycle. Three weeks on, one week off, um, but we'll be out of town a few days over the next few weeks. And so we will just take this with us since they're car trips. Um, they can do their independent work. I wouldn't want some of these little pieces to get left or lost in hotel rooms. So we are just going to keep this simple. But let me show you what I pulled out for him so that in the morning he can just get going. So on this tray, um, let me first tell you about these because I will probably get asked. This tray is from Amazon. This little box is from Michael's, a little wooden box um, with a little hook on the front. And then um, this little cup we got in Jamaica has his little name on it. Um, and so, and this basket um, was given to me by my mom, but I want to say she got like a set of these from Ashley's Furniture years ago. So that's where that came from. And the timer is from Amazon as well. This um, box I got with a grocery order one day. I just picked it up um, online and just had my shopper bring it from Target. Um, you can also get these on Amazon. I think they come um, best price in a set of four. So first I have these little affirmation cards for him. Um, these are things that I feel like he could work on or use some encouragement in. So I picked out these cards specifically for him. Um, this one says, let's see if I can't get in focus. I am, de I determine how smart I am. Anything I don't know yet is something I can learn. So he could just choose from these, um, to look through throughout the week. And there's like questions on the back that he can think through himself. These are things that we do together, but I think it's also nice to learn to do them on your own and for yourself. So that is one way of incorporating that for him. And then again, I have our timer here. And so this is so he doesn't get overwhelmed with activities. When he was younger, I would not have put this many activities on the tray. Now that he's nine, this is exciting and he can choose what he wants to do. I don't have this on their agenda of like what needs to be done on what day. He just gets to go through and choose some of these things. But these are kind of supplementing things that we are working on. So right now we're reviewing time um, with our Right Start Math lessons. So I pulled out this power pin box of time cards and he uses this little pen with it. It says, you know, it makes all kinds of noises when he gets things correct and incorrect and that's fun for him. So I'll just have him set a timer. This is a 10 minute timer um, and work on these cards for that amount of time and then move on. It doesn't have to go through the whole box if he doesn't want to. Um, we're doing US history. So these little brain quest cards are fun. Um, this might be something we'd put in our work box and take with us because, you know, this it stays together. Um, it's something that he could do in the car and um, have fun with that. I mean, as much as flashcards are fun, but they actually quite enjoy these. Um, but he could also just work on that for 10 minutes or, um, or just do a few cards and not get overwhelmed by that. So he's really into puzzles and he likes doing the puzzles of the United States. He always has. Um, and so this is fun being that we are studying U.S. history and learning about the states um, and U.S. geography. So this is nice. It has the states um, and it has their capitals. So he can enjoy doing that. And then these cards, I've shared these boxes from Lakeshore before. Um, this is from their second, third grade set. And so he's working on um, some reading comprehension and language skills and things like that. These are things that are complementing what we are also doing in our one-on-one um, -on -one language arts lessons. And then last on the tray, this is from the Lakeshore Science Box, uh, folder box from second and third grade. And this is cl classifying animals. These are little cards to go with it. The answers um, to the game are also in here. If I can get this up with one hand, let's see, yeah. So these are nice and bright and colorful, fun to do. So that is what um, we have on the tray. So just a little update on what's in my third graders work box. I have a video on this, um, but he has some pens. Um, we usually use the friction erasable pens, but these were a little cheaper since we go through them so quickly. 
even the ink refills, I feel like are a little expensive with them. Um, and then they have these highlighters. He's learning how to get straight lines with his highlights, but sometimes he goes over um, and has this little eraser um, tip on it so you can erase the highlight if you go too far and he likes that. And then he has a little pencil that he just got from the North Carolina Zoo that he bought with his own money and he was very proud. <laughs> Um, and then he has sticky notes in here. And this is if I'm working with Aiden or I can't help him in the moment, he can put a question or um, let me know what he struggled with um, on a sticky note and put it in the workbook that he was struggling with. And then he has his bugs. I've talked about these before. As the boys um, check over their work, they can get the bugs out um, and they just put these. It won't fit on my finger, but they can put these on their finger and kind of read across and see. Um, what they may need to edit or make changes with. So I think this has just been um, a helpful reminder for them to check over their work and turn in things, um, turn in their best work before saying I'm done. So that's what's in the top here. And then inside he has his headphones and his laptop, which we use for teaching textbooks, time for learning, um, teaching textbooks for math, time for learning they use for science, social studies and language arts. And then they do Night Zookeeper, which is um, writing, um, like a fun writing app. Um, in here, let's see if I can't take this out. He has an abacus and this um, grid notebook that he uses um, to go along with his teaching textbooks. Since we don't print out or purchase the workbooks that you can get along with them, but this having the scrap paper is nice. And then to reinforce what we're working on independently in our grammar and writing, I like these little workbooks. We don't do these every day, but they are nice to um, have as a part of our supplements. Um, we are finishing up prepositions, and this is just a fun book to review that. Um, this is just a notebook if they need extra paper to write on. He's working through word roots. 180 days of spelling. We also do all about spelling. Um, and I really like that, but this I think just helps reinforce and they can um, work independently on that when we don't get to those lessons on that day. Um, so we do a little bit of that spelling every day. Um, cursive, we were using um, learning without tears for, or uh, writing without tears for cursive, but he wanted to write it slanted and there's just more straight up and down. So we got um, this. So he is, he's working on, um, on this to learn cursive. We're using this one still for logic and just for fun. And then for his science through Bookshark, he does it on his own. Um, so they have like a worksheet they're supposed to do a day. My guys do two a day. Um, and then this is the book that they are reading along to get the answers from. And then we discuss it and we do um, science experiments in addition to that. But we do those together along with history together. And then independently, I do writing. Well, independently one-on-one -on -one with them, we do writing, spelling, grammar, and math. And that's it. That's what's in his box. But I just wanted to go ahead and get this ready to go. Before we start back next week, we're just coming off our one week break. So this will be on the table ready for him to come on down. Um, he gets dressed. He makes breakfast. He does his little morning chores. He does them all very quickly. So he is ready to go. So I just want to set him up so there's not a lot of chaos in the morning about what he should be doing. And he's not tearing up, making a mess or getting frustrated because um He's not sure what to do. So here we go. And this keeps us in um, the lesson morning lessons. That's when we do our lessons usually. And that has worked the best for us. I've tried to change up things a few times, but it works best for us just to do our lessons in the morning. And this will help him get going. So I hope that was helpful, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Um, give this video a like and let me know if you have any questions or comments below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.